Hi, I'm Dr. Carol Baranyuk. I work in Robert Burns Studies at the University of Glasgow. We're a team led by international Burns scholar Professor Jerry Carruthers is completing a project to produce a multi-volume edition of the works of Robert Burns for the Oxford University Press. A volume of Burns' prose work has already been published, including his journals describing the tours he took in Scotland to gather material for his poetry and song. Volumes with the songs he wrote for the Scots publishers James Johnson and George Thompson have also been published already or are forthcoming. At present, I'm one of several researchers gathering and transcribing the poet's correspondence, which will come out in four volumes in the next few years. It has been really exciting to work from scans of the original manuscripts or first printings of letters and also to bring together the letters of the people who corresponded with Burns so that both sides of the correspondence can be presented more fully than has ever been done before. In the process we've been in touch with libraries all over the world where Burns manuscripts are held and occasionally we've had the thrill of retrieving items that had been forgotten or not previously known about. The really fascinating thing about Burns's letters is the variety of them. He writes about family matters, love, sex, religion, politics and much more to close friends, to aristocratic patrons, to literary intellectuals and to the women he admired or who admired him. He can be grave and sincere or mocking and often very funny. He's an absolute master of style. The letters also show how exceptionally well read he was in the Bible, in literature, philosophy and theology. Amazing when you consider how little he had in the way of formal schooling. We're also looking into how Burns has been presented by biographers and it's been so interesting to see what has been done with his life story and his image by different writers in different periods. In some respects, he's still mysterious, even though he's so well known. If you're interested in finding out more about the project, just key editing Robert Burns for the 21st century into a search engine. The website has a page where you can download some terrific new recordings of many Burns songs that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thank you.